broadcasting from Bagaytay, Philippines. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the Star Wars Family Channel. And guess what today is? Star Wars Family Eats. That's right, guys. <laughs> Mommy woke up hungry. <laughs> So you know what that means. We are headed to another new place. And today we are headed to Goddess Bistro. So today is earthquake day. We woke up to the earthquake. I wonder if you felt that because I read that Manila also felt um, the intensity. They had intensity two or three. Um, so we woke up to the grills rumbling. I wonder if you felt that in your area, guys. Comment below. Um, anyway, we are, like what Daddy said, we are headed to Goddess Bistro. And that is located just right in front of Ayala Mall, Seren. But it does require you to do a U-turn if you're coming from the rotunda. Mm -hmm. So, really obnoxious jeepneys today. So, always makes it fun to turn around. Anyway, guys, but yeah, we're excited to go here. We are uh, going to check out their restaurant and we're also going to check out a couple of the hotels that they own as well. Yep. So I stay tuned that for that video. guys. But for this particular video, this is the Eats, Eats, Eats. video. So come along with us guys and we will see what all they offer. Okay guys, so we just got parked here at Guadas. And so you'll see here, they are open from 6 to 8 p.m. You can definitely call or message them for reservations. But this is the place you're looking for. And the best part is, it is directly across from Ayala Mall, Saren. So, super easy to find, guys. We are going to head up. Also, the entry for the Omega Hotel. But we are gonna head to the restaurant, guys. But stay tuned for our review of the hotel as well. So, normally there is a buffet breakfast. For the hotel. Yeah, for the hotel portion, but. <laughs> yeah, so really nice. Give you the 360 view, guys. First, another unique view of Tal. As much a look at that as possible. All right, guys, we're gonna get seated and we'll be back. And welcome back, guys. We just got seated, and of course, we are gonna go for the full menu, menu tour. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with their supplemental menu, which is their Italian. So, Guadas has some salad. salad. Or some pasta. Bongole, pesto, putanesca. <laughs> and I some, can't see from here. Yeah, I'm and some pizza. Matriciano. And then you have some snacks on here. You have a taron and some french fries. Taron, so Italian. 
<laughs> but yeah, so you got a few things on that menu, and then this is their drink menu, guys. So obviously they're a cafe. So it's they cafe have cafe the Omega because they are located at Omega Hotel. Yeah. So. Yeah. They have their coffee, their juices, their sodas. So I wonder what kryptonite coffee is. Yeah. Coffee supposed to make you strong, not weak, right? Yeah, and they have affogato <laughs> as well. So okay. and then on the back, they have a couple of sandwiches. sandwiches. So the Italian grilled cheese, beef tangy sandwich, vegetable sandwich, and of course a variety of cakes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna get into their full Guadas menu. Okay. So, Guadas authentic recipes. They are featuring this. This is um, what I always see: adobo saputi, white version of adobo made with pork belly, potatoes, and tomatoes. Yeah, so really and interested to try that. There's binacol. It's Filipino soup made with chicken stewed in coconut juice with ginger and lemongrass that one we're getting and then of course there's soups and there you go yep. you even got a peri peri chicken some smoked tilapia chicken in a saw and some barbecue mm -hmm. and tanige with ripe mango so yeah lots to choose from there this is very interesting though the sisig in a pouch so they also have breakfast at goddess I believe uh -huh. it's available all day because it's already almost one o'clock and we are still able to order from this menu yeah. and of course they also have their appetizers. This is the one I was talking about. Sisig in a pouch. Yeah. Deep fried wrapped pork sisig. Maybe they put the sisig in the wonton wrapper. Oh. Very interesting. Yeah. Their soups. So of course there's a bulo and there's a kansi <laughs> and for the main courses guys you have some smoked bangas, tilapia, of course more sizig, Bicol Express, Express, some limpio. Oh Achi likes Bicol Express. Mm. Oh like what's, what's this bottom one? Kare kareng baka. Beef kare kare. Ah there you go. Care care. There's more here. There's crispy potato. Yeah, and the chicken and a saw that we mentioned. And of course, there's your peanut bit, chop suey, and of course, a variety of rices, guys. Always nice to see a variety. So you have plain, <laughs> vegetable, chorizo, kimchi, butter, butter garlic, garlic, and then of course, the noodles, panza oh. canton, and bihon, pancit molo. Yeah. And of course, last but last not least, the desserts. desserts. So, you have a mixed fruit platter, a mango cheese roll, maize cognato, and of course, the banana, banana cube, a salted pandan cream tart, churro s'mores, and oh. a variety of Filipino ice creams ube, cheese, vanilla, avocado, mango, and avocado again. <laughs> All right, okay, guys. guys. We well, are excited to see to to show you what we get, and I'm so hungry. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys. We'll be back. Oh, let's take a look over my shoulder. Very nice. Okay, guys. Food has arrived. Let's see what all we got. <laughs> let's see, mommy. I'm um, excited. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. That's a lot, Daddy. So as usual, guys, we got a little bit of a full table. <laughs> so, on ice. The famous uh, cheese again. Cheese again. Yeah, it looks interesting. All right. Shanghai. Okay. Alright, so let's review. Okay, so we have pinakbet sagata. So 
your pinakbet with the twist because it has coconut milk. And this is the binakol. That's chicken, chicken stew, but it has um, coconut milk. Oh, and you see that um, coconut meat mm -hmm. and lemongrass and ginger. Yeah, we're excited for that guys. Uh -huh. And of course, from Pyong Shanghai. And there, um, Sir Paolo said they're the only ones who have this in Tagaytay. I wonder if they have it in Manila anyway too. Sisi in a pouch. Yeah. Very interesting. And of course, their adobo saputi, which they always feature. All right, guys, and garlic rice. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back if anything else shows up. Hey, guys, and one last item for you. It is their Italian grilled cheese. So it came with some fries. And looks like a yummy grilled cheese sandwich, guys. So we'll give you the review when we get back. We just finished our meal and we got ourselves a little dessert snack. Toron. Yeah. Let's see what the, they have a dip. And I can identify. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I guess I'll have to try it and let you know. We'll be back. All right, guys. So we are going to finish this meal with a refreshing mango shake very fitting guys because we're here at one o'clock and it's so hot but the ambiance is really good so we opted to stay in their alfresco area all right guys so we will try this out and give you our full review when we come back all right guys welcome yeah. back we are here to wrap up this particular segment um as you know, we are going on to do the hotel review as well, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, guys, we'll go over our meal here. Um, I gotta say, first off, everything here is so nice. The outdoor atmosphere, the restaurant itself, and the food is all well presented. Um, I just, I think it's a, another really nice place to come if you're looking for even a, a special dinner, special occasion, mm -hmm. or I mean, they've got enough space to, to do large groups. So certainly something to consider, even if you're just coming into Tagatai for the day to have lunch, great place for lunch, guys. Yeah, very nice ambiance, um, very good food. Yeah, and, and very attentive, uh, attentive service, guys. Yeah, so. service, is, service is very good. Sorry for the wobble, guys. <laughs> but anyway, um, so to get into our food, we started with, well, we actually kind of got everything, but. <laughs> we got binakol. That's the soup um, with the coconut meat. It's very good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. The soup is super good. I, I know our kids will love it for sure. It's the first time that Daddy's trying the binakol. It's yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. Really enjoyed the everything about the soup. Really fresh. Really refreshing. And and then after that, we tried the their famous adobo sapoti, which they are actually featuring on their Facebook page. Um, yeah. So naturally, we had to bring some of that home, but the flavor is so good. Um, we have a lot of take home food. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting adobo with the potatoes. I don't know that we've had adobo with potatoes. No, I don't make adobo with potatoes. Yeah, but it was really good because it really picks up a lot of the flavor of the sauce. Um, so yeah, overall, really another enjoyable dish. Um, mm -hmm. And then we also tried their CC, mm -hmm. their CC in, in a, a pouch. pouch. Mm -hmm. And they claim that they're the only ones who have that in Tagaytay. It's really good. It's different. Like, um, it's not your regular sisig, and it's not just a sisig in a pouch to be different. If you try the sisig itself in inside, it's really good. It's very flavorful. Um, I had to try only one because Sophia loves sisig, so I had to leave the rest for her, and we're taking that home. I feel like we say this every segment. <laughs> that Sophia. Likes. That we have to feed Sophia. <laughs> yeah. She's the carbonara, sizzig, bring me anything. But yeah, she always waits for us. You know, kids can't go out. So she always waits for us with um, every Star Wars Family Eats episode. <laughs> she waits for us to come home and see what we bring. Yeah. And then... But I do feel like if she eats the food, she should have her own Sophia segment review. 
<laughs> if you agree with that, comment no, but below. But everything she said, it's good. I like it. It's good. Well, yeah. But I still think it's valid. I mean, if you're going to get the reward of eating the delicious food, you mm -hmm. should have a segment. Mm -hmm. And then we tried the lumpia. You like their lumpia in yeah. Shanghai? Yeah, lumpia is always good, guys. Can't go wrong with lumpia. Um, Sometimes fresh. you can. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had really bad lumpia yet, I don't think. But, yeah, really fresh, really crisp. Um, I'm trying to think good. what else. Oh, the pinak bet sa gata. The serving mm -hmm. is really good. Yeah. Very, very big portion, guys, for the price. And the, it, it's really good. It's very yummy. It's not your usual pinak bet, again, because it has gata. But it's very good. And uh, you've seen the portion. It's Yeah. So that's the other good. thing I would say really consider, guys, is the size portions that we have and the amount of food that we're bringing home. So, again, a really good value. Uh, one of the other things we had was the uh, Italian grilled cheese, which was what we have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Italian grilled sandwich. Yeah, which was also really good, guys. Really fresh mozzarella with a little bit of hint of sauce, and great bread, fresh, crunchy. Yeah, I mean it's good. And then then you had some mojos. Mm -hmm. So and then the turon. Daddy loves turon. Daddy loves bananas. And their turon is with, um, what do you call that? Young coconut meat, makapuno. We call it makapuno in the Philippines. And then it um, has some chocolate drizzle. Mm -hmm. And then I still wonder what the dip is. I feel like that's a jumping spider. <laughs> I feel like that's a jumping uh, um, It's coconut, something with coconut milk, I think. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, creamy milky but it was really yeah. really good and it was a little chilled so it made it nice with the super hot fresh fry, fried turon you dip it in there and yeah it was really really good guys and then we finished things off with of course a fresh mango shake which to me is one of the biggest benefits of being here in the Philippines the mangoes just super fresh and super best refreshing. mangoes best mangoes guys yeah <laughs> I always look for Philippine mangoes in the states but and, and I'll be honest, I never really knew what that meant. I just, you know, I <laughs> always had a mango. Know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the mango's super fresh, super mm -hmm. sweet. Um, and I mean, I enjoy the green mango too, but I gotta tell you, if, if you've had sweet mango, wait until you have sweet mango here. It's, it's just so good yeah. and so refreshing. Um, Not from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, so there you have it. Um, we really enjoyed the food. We really enjoyed the service here at Guadas Bistro, Guadas Authentic Cuisine. Yep. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Give it a big, <laughs> give up. it a big thumbs up. Yep. And this video is still in May. Don't forget to jump in on our Facebook, check our pin post and um, um, check out the May giveaway guys. Yep, for our monthly giveaway. It's huge. Yes, because it's Star Wars month. Yeah, Star Wars month guys. So we got a really nice giveaway. Don't, don't miss out on it. And if we get a lot of participants, we're gonna do a second prize pack. So help us out on that, guys. And as always, keep sharing, keep liking, and keep supporting us. And until next time. May the force be with you. Always. Mama Pig Productions.